After a season of low returns starting today, most of the Columbia River is closing to all recreational salmon and steelhead fishing. Now, some people blame those low numbers on the dams. In our latest series on potential breaching of the Lower Snake River dams, we tackled the fishing industry. About 10 years ago, you could have been a little bit more balanced out, making money guiding. But now it's been mostly just doing my concrete work. When he's not pouring concrete, Jerry Reyes is in the fish business. His company, Flat Out Fishing, has been around for about five years. But fishing, he's been doing that since he was a kid. Since I was like 12 years old. But in the last decade or so, he's noticed a change. It started deteriorating. It's starting to fall apart. Rick runs unpredictable. It's progressively getting worse. He's not mistaken. Statistics show a drop in salmon and steelhead returns over the years. For wild spring summer Chinook salmon in the 50s, close to 100,000 returned each year. But in 2009, that number had dropped to about 20,000. Numbers have improved slightly with more efforts being made to get these fish through the dams, but some say it's not enough. When you look at the returning populations, for fish that don't have to go through those additional four dams, you see a marked difference. While proponents of the dams point to other reasons for lower fish returns, like warm ocean conditions or high predator populations, Sam Mace believes the dams pose the bigger problem. There's no question there's lots of factors affecting our salmon and steelhead, but when you look at one that we can take care of and that would make a, a big impact on our returns, um, it's looking at those lower snake dams. And it's not just getting through the dam that poses the problem for these fish. It's the pooled water that just gets too warm. Biologically, they evolve to just take snow melt down a free flowing river. That's what really kills the baby salmon. And the lower return rate means shorter seasons and fewer fish for anglers. There's not very many full time guys like there used to be. So now everybody's doing it part time because it's, it's tough to make a living off of it. I grew up on the salmon and steelhead river. May says the lower snake river dams cause more harm than good and the benefits they do provide, like power, are replaceable. These dams are not huge, huge hydropower producers. They provide about 4% of the BPA grid, and that is power that we need to replace, and we need to replace it in a clean way. Many, many studies have been done showing that we can do that affordably. It's about more than the livelihood of these little fish. It's about the people, their survival effects, too. Our cold water fish, like our salmon and steelhead, you know, that's a big target of why people come out and do a lot of, you know, come up to the Northwest and do some fishing. There's got to be a way where we both win.